Oh y'all, this is a little announcement. I will be selling one of these pieces behind me. So if you're interested in that, you're gonna have to stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can get one of these pieces behind me, all right? But anyways, let's get this video started. She got a lot on my mind. She got a lot on my mind. I got a lot on my mind. I got a lot on my mind. Hey man, it's your boy Chris Alia, aka C Easy, and I said I'm back at it with another one. I'm back at it with another video, like I said, every Saturday and Tuesday, y'all gotta stay tuned. Before I even get to what I wanna get into, I have some disclaimers, okay? As you can tell by the title, this is a tour merch collection video. However, not every single piece in this collection is a tour merch piece. Some of the pieces are inspired by artists and some of the pieces are artist collabs, all right? So before we even get started with this video, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. We are so close to 100 subs. Let's go ahead and run it up this video. Make sure you like this video and make sure you comment. But anyways, let's get this video rolling. Let's get right into this video. We're gonna start off with the first piece, okay? The very first piece of my collection is a Travis Scott merch, okay? And the story behind this is actually crazy. So this was basically, um, we had, they had free merch, it was a free um, concert, and on top of that, I finessed my way in, okay? I came really late, and I was still able to make it to the front and get in. So basically, the way Travis did this, he basically, like, it was actually like so sketchy. He basically tweeted to put your email in on this website, went ahead and did that, and literally like two hours later, he said, all right, meet up over here, it's a free concert. If you're 18, you can get in. Luckily, at the time, I was 18, so you know, I was able to go ahead and get in. But it's this day, it was just crazy. Like, after this day, I really was like, man, I messed with Travis Scott heavy, you feel me? And then for the second piece, it's another Travis piece. However, for this piece, this was my, the first piece that I actually went ahead and bought. It's a reversible um, shirt. And I'm like, I liked it because it's different. A lot of people don't have it. And it's like two shirts in one, so you really got like your money's worth, all right? And for the next piece, it's from my favorite artist, the one and only Playboy Cardi, you feel me? This is from his Neon Tour. It was basically his second um, concert in the city of Houston. And it was just crazy. But the only thing about this, like this logo, look at this logo, you feel me? For the longest time, I was like, when I was looking at the shirt, I was like, dang, everything was sold out, but I had to get a piece. I had to get some merch, and I'm just like, bro, what is this? Is this like Illuminati? Like, what is this guy doing? But then I had to tell myself, man, this Playboy Cardi, I'm not leaving without some type of shirt, some type of merch. So I went ahead and I copped this, and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of grew on to me, like, I like it a lot, you feel me? And then the next piece, it's not, I didn't go to their tour, but I was still able to get it. It's basically just a regular Migos shirt. It's still alive, you know what I'm saying? I was fortunate enough to be able to have it. But as you can see, it's just a regular shirt. It goes with a lot of stuff. So, you know, I had to add it to the collection. And for the next piece, it's from Mr. Slime himself, Young Thug. Like this shirt, I just like how like simple it is in the front, but then you look at the back and it got all these details. It's like, it's really creative and it basically shows like who Young Thug is like as a person, like his creativity. And I really, really mess with it. But for this piece, I didn't go to the tour. I was just able to get it. All right, and this is where the disclaimers come in, okay? This next piece is not a tour merch piece, but it is inspired by artists, like my second favorite artist, I'll say, the one and only Lil Uzi Vert. Uzi vs. The World, as y'all can see, it's just a little mass above him, and I really like it. It's a really nice shirt, and I know none of y'all have this. It's one on one. Okay. And the next one is Drip Too Hard, Don't Stand Too Close. I already know the boy Gunna, as you can see right there. This is his tour of merch. And the crazy thing about this, I was really looking at his merch. I really wanted to cop something, but a lot of his stuff was not good. Like, I was like, bro, Gunna, come on, you gotta do better. 
So the next day they dropped some more and I managed to find this and I'm just like, bro, should I cop it? So I went, I slept on it. I woke up in an hour and I'm just like, bro, I had to get it. If I don't get it, I'm gonna be thinking about this for a while. So I went ahead and I copped it and I love this shirt. It's great. I don't mess with it. Next thing is from uh, Lil Yachty. It's a little teenage tour, um, as you can see by the dates. I didn't go to the tour, but someone that I knew was able to get it for me and like, I was so happy. This is basically like um, one of my earlier pieces that I went ahead and I got, and I like it a lot. All right, for this next piece, okay, it's not a Tool Merch piece, but it is a collab with an artist and um, a brand. As y'all can see, this ain't no ordinary striped shirt. You feel me? This ain't, this, this not regular. This that guess ASAP jeans, you know what I'm saying? That's that guess with that ASAP collab, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about this shirt, there's a lot of fakes, and there's a lot of ones that are overpriced. I was fortunate enough to find one that was used for a pretty good price. So, you know, I was grateful for that. And the person who had it before me, they left it in like great condition. Like there's nothing wrong with it, okay? And now for my very first concert slash tour merch. This is the very first piece that I own. It's from Playboy Cardi's first tour in Houston. And it's, it was my first concert that I went to. This is like when he was in like his butterfly phase. But like, it's crazy. This wasn't the first shirt that I really wanted to get. But I was able to get it. It was basically the second best shirt. So I went ahead and I copped it. I've only worn it twice, but it's a crazy, crazy shirt. And I really like it. And now... You know that B long man. This I wanted to I wanted to get a B long piece for so long, man. And it was like I but the thing about B long is that a lot of it's fake and stuff that's real will go for like hundreds, three, four hundred, and it's just like bro, like who got money for that? But a lot of things, but re, as of recently, what artists have started doing, they started doing collabs with B-Long for their merch. So it's like to up their sales. And it's actually crazy because now there's affordable V-Long pieces that like anyone could get. And this one specifically was with Nav and his Bad Habits, um, his album. And it's basically just, I love it, man. It's my very first V-Long piece. You know what I'm saying? I, I mess with it. All right, now as y'all saw, saw this, Basically, I know what y'all here for. Y'all want to know which one of these pieces I will be selling. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so the piece I will be psyched, man. I'm not finna give y'all my v loan, but what I will be selling is the Playboy Cardi shirt. I only wore this shirt twice. It is very near dead stock, okay? And if you're interested in this shirt, all you basically have to do is this, okay? You have to go ahead and leave a comment on this video letting me know that you're interested. But preferably, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and um, basically message me on IG, Twitter, um, even go ahead and snap me. Let me know how much you want for this and it could be yours. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you go ahead and like this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these pieces is your favorite. But anyways, it's your boy Chris Alia, aka C Easy, and I'm out. I got a lot on my mind. Sixteen and holding that to nine, nine. I got AK with the scores and nine, nine.